All right, so in today's video, we are going to talk about Chowdash software. Um, so what I wanted to show off first was that all the base functions still work after um, uh, installing Chowdash on your G2. Uh, as you can see, my blinker still work. Also, the find my still works. So everything stock still works. Like your, I can still connect to the Segway app and change a few settings there, except the speed settings, which I do in this Shardash software, as you're seeing right now. These are the settings I'm running. Um, don't forget to bump everything up because all the amps you send to the scooter uh, get halved by the uh, controller. So if you see like 70 amps, like it, in reality is about 35. There's something weird about this controller that all the send, uh, amps you send to the controller via software gets halved. So make sure to bump everything up. That's what I did. Uh, also, make sure to um, bump up the um, motor controller temperature. Don't worry, it won't break. Uh, I've done a ton of uh, tests on it. And it, like on the base motor temperature, like it would overheat sometimes, like I would get an error code and I bumped it up on the Chardash software and I didn't get any problems on there. So if you want more information how to um, SD link your G2, I will put a video in, in the description. It's not my video, but the guy really made a really good video and uh, I don't think I can make a better video on that and it takes a long ass time to do it. It's not an easy process guys, it's not just taking a phone and up uploading software, you have to take the physical controller out, uh, connect it to a phone. Um, it, it's really not easy. It, it sounds easy, but it's not. It's quite complicated. But the results you get from it are really, really amazing. As you can see, I'm going 47 against a, a headwind. Um, the max I got was 52, like on a flat with a little bit of wind in my back. So yeah, I was really surprised about the performance. Compared to my G30, I would say my G30 has a little bit more top speed, but less torque. Uh, but yeah, this scooter is really amazing for the price, what you can get out of it. Like I got a really good price on, on this scooter and I was like, you know what, let's, uh, let's ST link it. Let's, uh, let's have a little project going on uh, with this scooter. So this is not my scooter. Um, I bought it so and sold it to a friend because he wanted a ton of range and under 1000 euros. So what I did was um, I installed a external battery on this one as well, which were perfectly fine as well um, with the Shardai software. So he has a ton of range now, like he has uh, triple the battery capacity. I installed a uh, external battery outside as well and works perfect. So about the performance after you shout Ash, um, you have to bump up all the amps because all the amps you send to the controller gets halved for some reason. Uh, with the new G2 controller, it just gets halved. So make sure to bump everything up and bump up your motor um, temperature as well, because sometimes, I don't know, because of the Chardash software, it, will, it would like overheat while everything was kind of like not too warm. So after I've done that, I, I didn't have any problems. So I bumped up everything I had and the scooter has really nice torque uh, for a 36 volt uh, battery. Uh, I haven't installed a 48 volt battery. Um, the person I wanted to install it for didn't have the budget for that. So I just installed a uh, 36 volt external battery. Um, I kind of wanted to test that, but of course the guy didn't have any budget and me neither. <laughs> I have so many scooters right now, which I'm trying to sell to uh, get other scooters. Uh, but yeah, the outcome still for a 36 volt is quite impressive. Like going over 50 on a 36 volt battery is like insane. Um, the comfort on the G2 is amazing. Like it, 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 it's, it's so well done, this scooter. Um, it's kind of unstable uh, a little bit, the front suspension. Uh, but the rear suspension is really, really good. Uh, but yeah, let me talk about the performances that I've got without any external batteries. So uh, the top speed already mentioned, but the range really, really uh, takes a hit after uh, doing this upgrade. So um, I would normally get about 40-ish kilometers, maybe 35 um, on stock. But after unlocking, I would get 25 um to 23 kilometers so it really takes a big hit after doing this because the um 
yeah, you know, you, you consume a lot more power if you if you go double the, the legal speed that it normally goes. So, yeah, that really takes a hit, but the torque is so much better. Uh, something I would also improve are the braking. Like, I feel like the brakes are worse than the G30, uh, which I have. Um, but, yeah, the, the comfort is just insane. The, I feel like the tires are a little bit more grippy compared to the normal G30 as well. Um, yeah, the horn and the blinkers are such a nice addition as well. It, it's just a really complete scooter. I would really recommend getting this one and doing this upgrade because I feel like stock you know the scooter can go a lot faster than than just 25 kilometers per hour or 35 you you can kind of feel it and after doing this upgrade like you feel like the true power of the scooter and it's such a nice ride it's super comfortable i feel like the 10 inch tires they are really nimble compared to bigger scooters and it goes decently fast it like I didn't have any trouble as well climbing some hills. Uh, I haven't done like really steep steep hills, but like most hills I've I have in my city are, you know, easy, easily climbable with the scooter as well. Like I'm I'm really happy with the with this uh, product, man. Um, after crowd dashing, don't forget the uh, software is not free. You have to pay for it as well. So it's really not the easiest process to do, but. The result you get out of it is amazing so the question i get a lot is should i get the g30 or should i go for the g2 to be honest the g2 like stock is a better scooter like it comes with suspension installed already but if you're kind of a mod freak i would get the g30 because like inside the deck there's a lot more space like the, the 48 volt battery that I have laying around doesn't fit in the G2, but it does fit in the G30. But like, if you want to keep it as stock as possible, the G2 is a lot better, in my opinion. Like, it, you know, there's nothing better than the stock suspension than installing like third party suspension on a G30. Of course, you don't have to go for suspension, but like at high speeds, it's a lot more safe with suspension than without, because if you take a bump, it's not as dangerous as, you know, running no suspension. But yeah, the G2 is really hard to, to, to you know, to hack. Um, you have to take the physical controller out. It's, it's a really painful process, but the results are really nice. The G30, of course, you can just take a phone unless you've updated it to a um, to the highest software then you cannot um, uh, just upload some software to it so it really depends but like the g30 has more top speed in my opinion but has less torque and the connectors can overheat so if you send a bunch of app amps to the controller it might overheat the connectors and they might burn uh, and then you have to buy a new controller and stuff. With the G2, it's a lot more safe. So they both have their uh, weaknesses and their pros. But honestly, between the two, I would still go for the G2. It has a little bit more range, and like I would say 10% more range because the controller is more efficient and the tires like have, have less rolling resistance. You will have a little bit more range. It also has more torque, but a little bit less top speed because the amps you send to the controller gets halved. So you can send a lot more amps to the, to your G30 controller, but you have more chance to overheat unless you, you know, solder some other and better connectors to it. So it really depends if you, if you don't want to modify it too much, if you want to keep it as stock as possible, but you still want it to go fast, I would take the G2. If you're a modding freak and you know what you're doing, get the G30. There's so much more you can do. Um, so many more parts as well. Um, so yeah, between the two, I would go for the G2, man. It's, it's a lot easier, has more torque, uh, but there's more potential out of a G30. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any type of questions, make sure to ask them down in the comment section. I will reply to it. Uh, if you want to contact me as well, I also have an email, which I will put in the description if you have any type of questions. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video I made on this uh, G2. 
um, I will do a 48 volt uh, upgrade on my G30 next. So that's one of the next videos I've coming out as well. And I will make some e-bike reviews as well in the near future. So if that interests you, make sure to subscribe in the comments. Uh, just subscribe to my channel, God damn it. Uh, yeah, hope you guys have a very good day and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.